Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and I have some very terrible news to share about the Nintendo Classic Mini, which comes out this Friday on the 11th, and everybody has been looking forward to this, well, at least as far as us gamers, right? But here's the thing, it's going to be hard to find, it really is. I've got some sources that confirmed just how difficult it'll be to find. And it's going to be a bummer. It really is going to piss off a lot of people. And I'm kind of ashamed of Nintendo doing what they did here because they really screwed up hard. I, I really don't understand why they screwed up this badly. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, I recently did get a new job at a retail location. It's a pretty big retailer. I'm not going to go into the specifics or anything like that. But uh, let's just say that they service at that particular location... Um, up to 75,000 people on a, you know, monthly basis, like, at least, they, that those people visit at least once a month at that location. So, quite a lot of feet go in that door. Um, not to mention all the people that work there and so on. You want to know how many NES Classic Minis they're going to get at their store location? I'm going to hold up a number that you can count on your two hands. That's right. Six. Not 51 or 15. Six. That's the number of fingers I'm holding up. That's how many they're going to have. <laughs> it's crazy. I actually, uh... I was kind of flabbergasted. I was thinking, oh, this must surely be an inventory or ordering issue or something. They have to be getting more than six. So I called up some other retail locations in the area. I called up some Walmarts, some GameStops. It seems like everybody's getting six. One of the game slots said they might get 12. They don't know for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's quite terrible. I mean, we're going to have quite a bit of a shortage on our hands with this. I mean, this thing will probably... If Nintendo would have made it properly available, it would have easily sold millions. But it looks like they're doing a pretty bad job of that because they shipped 3.9 million of these over the holiday season and if those numbers for the classic mini are any indication they're not going to ship nearly that many so what was even the freaking point of releasing a nintendo i thought this was supposed to be your big holiday seller and you're not even going to sell it it's crazy uh, i'm just flabbergasted at how terrible of a decision this was by you guys i mean it's not like this is hardware that has some kind of custom CPU or GPU or something like that that would maybe complicate manufacturing processes. This thing uses like a cheap Chinese phone or tablet system on a chip with, uh, you know, pretty much off the shelf components. So there's no excuse. The only thing that would be even remotely difficult is creating the plastic housing. And come on, you guys had the freaking molds. Just such a disappointment. I do have a couple of theories as to why the initial launch numbers are going to be so low, though. One, Nintendo may be withholding shipments for Black Friday. That could be for a couple of reasons. One, they might want to have, like, a bigger launch during a Black Friday event of some type. Which, okay, that kind of makes sense. Heck, they might even do something to incentivize their other devices. Like, they might throw in a free NES Classic Mini with the purchase of a Wii U or new 3DS XL or something like that. I think that would be a pretty kick-ass little Black Friday promotion. So maybe they're holding some back for that. I don't know, maybe there was some kind of manufacturing complication. I really hope it's not the case because, I mean, like I said, it's basically all off-the-shelf PC, you know, tablet PC or phone components, you know, it's basic stuff that really should not have any shortage of at all. You know, the same chipset that they use in the NES Classic Mini is probably used in like probably 15 or 20 different Chinese phones or tablets, if not more. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing to see that we're having this issue with this. You know, I really want to know what's going on, Nintendo. Why are you guys not making this thing available for consumers to buy? It just seemed like a real winner. You know, 30 classic NES games on the classic controller on your HDTV for only 60 bucks. 
That seemed like a no-brainer there. And Nintendo just apparently, uh... I guess they just don't have the manufacturing capacity or something. I don't know. Um, I guess maybe they realize, oh, this really ain't gonna make us a lot of money per system, so we'll just, uh... Not make that many available. <sighs> Scalper's Paradise, man. That's what this thing's gonna be. Won't surprise me if you see him for 200 plus on eBay after it comes out, because... You know, it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this, of course, to let people know what's going on. Like I said, call up your local stores. See how many they're getting. I guarantee you the answer is not going to be one you like. But uh, till then, Dow Phoenix out.